Good morning. Good morning. Um, just come down to Sagaris today, uh, to the little pond. It was completely empty again, so I've had to go off and get a lot of water. But I haven't been down here for a week, so it's a bit difficult to get down here during the weekdays now. Obviously because of work, it's a long way from where I work in Lagoa. But uh, I think I'm going to have to try and get down on a Wednesday sometimes, or Thursday, just to put a bit of water in the pond. But anyway, it's, uh, I filled it up. The birds are already coming back to the pond now. My hide, as you can see, is already set up. The pond looks nice, it looks beautiful at the moment. A little bit of greenery from the rain last week or a couple of weeks ago. Everything's nice and green around here now. <coughs> you can hear a lot of birds in the area as well, which is nice. Anyway, I'll see how the day goes, and uh, or the, how the morning goes, and obviously I'll put the videos of any of the good birds that come up. A little <coughs> surl bunting, <coughs> or curl bunting, whichever you want to call them, has just arrived to have a bath with the fresh water, sassing out exactly where she wants to go at the moment. Lovely bird. I haven't seen this one for a little while around here. Last three or four times they haven't shown up. But, uh, obviously now with the lack of water in the area everywhere else, this is the only water they can have to come here. Probably take a bath in a minute. There we go. Beautiful. Magpies have turned up. <coughs> Magpie flew off, so the little bunting's come back now to finish off the bath. They're quite bullies, those magpies. A lot of chaffinch around at the moment as well there. There's about seven or eight of them here at the moment. All females, I believe, because there's no none of the brighter colours. So they look like all females. I've actually got a meadow pipit here as well. Over at the side here. Just turned up as well. So I can focus on it here. No, gone. Thecla's lark as well. Lovely bird these. Always vigilant. Pipits just turned up for a bath as well in the fresh water. It's so nice. It's amazing what a little bit of fresh water can do. Another meadow pipit's turned up over here as well. Not 
to them here now. Some green finch have just turned up now for a quick drink. There's nothing particularly special around this morning other than the, the normal winter birds here still. Hopefully we'll get a couple of migrants come through soon. It's always nicer when you get a few of the new different birds around. I think you might even take a bath this one. He's thinking about it. <laughs> and there we go. said the fresh water it's just it's so necessary for them at the moment we got a little serine as well here this is like a from the canary family they're like a European canary. Lovely bird. Beautiful song. There we go. And he's still there. Got a little robin just turned up as well. <coughs> Don't stay still for very long, so it's a bit difficult to catch. Well, there you go. Blackbirds come for the bath as well now. <laughs> They're a little bit shyer than the other birds for some reason around here. Clean himself off. He'll be off in a minute. Oh, there you go, another one. Lovely. A couple of linnets have just turned up as well. have come for a bath as well. I can hear some red-billed core in the background. They're flying around overhead at the moment. There's about ten of them out there. Doesn't seem to worry the little lady though. just perched on one of the small sticks straight in front of the hide. One of the full-time residents in the area. A little stone chats, a female. Along with the meadow pipit as well, just over the back here. Darlings just turned up. It's a whole band 
the starling in the field just over the back, but one of them's come up for a drink and a quick bath. Amazing colour, black starling, even though it's only a black, the, the sheen on the bird is just amazing, it's almost like they're made of velvet, beautiful, drying himself off now after the bath. And got another one, another two turned up now for a bath. Lovely bird, the starling. Well, there you go. Beautiful. It's, there's still about another 20 or 30 starling in the field over the back. Wandling it, I've just turned up for a bath again. The oscillated lizard has <coughs> found a few mealworms that I put under the bush for him. And he's come out for a feed. You can actually see all of him now. He's just climbing up the, the little wooden thing, uh, the, um, the, the stump. He's just gone inside now. gone inside the stump. This is a hollow stump here. He's obviously found a passage from the top to the bottom. He's coming out inside now. He's just poking his head out here. <laughs> it's so cute. I don't know whether he's going to do anything else. If, he m if we're lucky he may come out of here again. Well, that's it for today. Uh, it's about midday now. Um, I thought I'd have a rather good morning here. Always, as, as always, a beautiful day in nature. I mean, you can just see around here. It's been... You can hear all the birds. Absolutely stunning. So, that's it for today. If you enjoyed the video, um, don't forget to give it a like and uh, subscribe for any further updates of the birds coming through in this area and other areas that I visit. Okay, have a wonderful day, another beautiful day in nature.